how do we gather information from the inside? Can you recommend a technique to practice to achieve this? Specifics, what exactly to do and how and how often? And so, yeah, or maybe what do you do or? Okay, that's a good question. I love the quiet. I'm not afraid to be in silence. And I find that in many different places. I gather information, like many of you do, I get it from M. Other contactees, we, we talk, we share information. Those who don't want to come forward because they're just, they're not, their legs aren't strong enough yet. But what we do is we take that information and we drop it from the head into the seat of the heart. Okay, that's where we go with it. Science proves that your mind is wired, your brain is wired to see seven to nine different dimensions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is not in our DNA. That is not a genetic coded thing. That's the soul. When you came into the physical body at conception, or whenever that moment truly is, and your soul seeded itself into the heart of the baby, and you took responsibility to come in here. That imprint was made on the physical body. So your soul already can see third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. In some cases, eight, nine. It's already there. A part of you knows already what's going down here and why it's going down. Part of you already knows the knowledge that you need, the wisdom that you already have inside of you to, to give you your answers, to take you in the direction where you may want to go, you do want to go, and how to get there. You already know. You just have to figure out a way to get to that place inside of you. And no one can do that but you. no guru, there's no drug that's going to take you there. It's, it's already there. It's already there. You have to somehow get rid of all the trash and the junk that's in here so that you can listen to what's in your heart. Maybe not all of you, but, but a lot of us. That's the key here. Allow the heart to talk. Physicality in, in other dimensions is not linear. Time is not the same. Do you understand? It's not like you have to go from three to four to five to six. It is not that 
that everything happens in fourth and fifth and sixth density the way it happens here in sequence, okay, on a time level. No, that is not how it happens. Those are one of the constructs that we need mentoring with so we can let go is our concept of time. Some of you have come back in time to right a terrible wrong. That means you're already in the future and you came back here. So you already know. You already know up there because you were just there before you came in. Probably in this lifetime. So you already know. How can you extract that information from the future to the now? How can you bring it to you? Now. You only have one gateway. You have one gateway, you have one portal right now where that information is available to you. And that's the heart. That's the heart. Maybe you'll do it a different way. Maybe you'll figure it out in a different way. And if you do, and you have the results and you know them to be authentic, then share it. Share it with everyone. The more we talk to each other, the more vulnerable we are with each other, the more trust we create with each other. And trust builds love, it builds mutual respect, and it builds freedom. Because then we start watching each other's back. It's, it's very intuitive. It's very natural that those that we care about, we watch and we take care of, and we try to watch their back. That is something humanity has not done for a very, very long time. And that's trust each other and watch each other's back. You know, we've, we've all been given this full court press to not trust one another. And that hasn't worked, has it? No, it hasn't. The results of that are everywhere. And the pain and the dysfunction that's created is staggering. It's staggering. Um, to the point now that we have a, we have a, a generation of kids, the millennials, who think socialism is the way to go. Uh, there have been polls taken all over the world, and a majority of them think socialism is the way to go. Because it doesn't force them to do anything. It doesn't force them to be out of themselves. All they have to do is what's necessary to just maintain. There's no growth there. Absolutely no growth. That's a self-imposed prison to a system of socialism that has never worked, ever, anywhere. But that's the way they think we have to go. Because that's, that's the way they're gonna feel safe. Enslaving themselves is how they feel that they're gonna be safe. I mean, you can't make this shit up. You just can't. It's crazy.